is going on guys? Huh y'all, I got our beer video today, but before we get into it, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button, that bell for notifications of new videos. Let's get into the beer, man. Today I got Safe and Artist F12, 10% ABV quad, man. And this is actually a request from, I don't remember who it was, I apologize, but it was in another video and they were like, hey, you should do Saint Bernardus F12. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I've seen it all the time. I've always wondered. I just never pulled the trigger for some reason. But since there was a request and I mean, I got to follow through, man. So here we go. We got F12 here, 10% ABV quad. And it doesn't have a bottled on date. I don't think that's a bottled on date at least because that to me seems like it says April 2nd, 2024. So, I mean, it can't be a bottled on date. I think that's a best buy date. So today is December 27, maybe eight, uh, 2020. So got a ton of time to drink this, but I'm gonna drink this today, man. Let's get this into a glass. And of course I do not have a bottle opener and I doubt it's a twist cap. Damn it, man, I'll be right back. All right, and we're back, bottle opener. Do that too often, well, I guess not too often, but more often than I like to. Um, interior glass, we go. Basically pouring the color I thought it was gonna be, man. Ooh, it's carbonated as hell. Holy shit, okay. I don't think I poured it that aggressively. Let's just call that good, man. About a third of the bottle is still, uh, or beer is still in there. Pour with two and a half fingers of head, man. It is very, very carbonated. Or so I think, cause I mean that head forms super, super quick. It is very, very fluffy, very soapy, tiny, 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 tiny bubbles, all the way up to I would say medium ones. There's only you know about ten of them in there or whatever, medium sized ones. But yeah, the head just this nice, super light sand color, like sand you would sand color you would find on the beach. It's just it looks like somebody lingering around a while, and there's still two fingers of head there, so about half a finger of head went. Uh, way so far. Putting it away from the light. This is a really nice color of beer, man. It's like a super dark reddish brown. Um, mahogany, I guess? I would say darker than mahogany. It's it's definitely darker. Maybe if I put it to the light. Oh yeah, putting it to the light is definitely like a deep rich mahogany color, man. It's just like this nice, nice red, brown, orange color. It has a nice orange glow around the outside of the glass here. Just around the uh, bulb here. Yeah, super nice looking beer, man. I can already smell a little bit of the malt and the caramel and just the sweetness coming from it. But let's shove a nose into this one. Yeah, exactly what I thought it was gonna smell like, man. Slightly sweet, bready, malty, biscuity. And like, I don't know, it's weird. I'm sure I said this before, but I can, like, you can smell the carbonation. Like there's just this thing of carbonation kind of, you know, coming off of me, you smell it. It's like shoving your nose into like a glass of 7-Up or a Sprite or something like you get that carbonation feeling or like feeling in your nose when you're smelling it. I don't know how to explain it, but if you've ever done that before, you know what I'm talking about, man. Slight, slight, slight breadiness or breadiness. I already said breadiness. Banana-y. Banana-y? Banana-ness. Bana slight banana smell in here, man. Just a little bit. Maybe cloves. Now we'll just go with clothes, man. We'll go with clothes, but you get like bananas, banana peel, I suppose. Just like not very vibrant, in your face, banana smell. It's like smelling a banana peel. I don't, I don't know how else to describe that, man. It smells good. It doesn't smell bad. I'm gonna say dark fruit, plum, maybe. No, I'm gonna go with figs, maybe not plum, like dried, dried prunes, dried plums. And sweetness. Like bready sweetness, brown sugar, molasses, things like that. Let's get into the flavors, man. It smells great. Cheers. 10%, man. 10%. <laughs> I'm mad I waited this long to drink this beer. And the lacing on this, eh, look at that. The lacing on that. It's just the, oh my god, dude. The lacing is just so nice on this. Check that out. Yeah, I'm really mad at myself for waiting this long to 
to drink this. This is this is nice. It's not a thick beer, but it coats the mouth so nicely that it kind of feels like a thicker beer than it really is. It is it's like water consistency, but it just it coats the mouth so damn nicely. Like I don't know how to explain it. It's it's weird. It's odd, but the flavors are nice. You get slight maltiness, which is nice, it's like dark roasted malts. You get some like hop spiciness. There's definitely that there. A little boozy towards the end, but I mean, 10% ABV. I expected that. You get the cloves, <clears throat> you get the bready, multi sweet, brown sugar, Hawaiian sweet roll type deal in there. I'm gonna say, not plums, I would say maybe dried prunes, or prunes are dried plums, right? I think that's what prunes are. Anyways, you get, you get that, you get figs. Figs, I, I'm getting a lot of fig on the flavor here. Lots of fig. It works really nicely with the roasted malt flavor. It's just in the, like the molasses brown sugar deal. It, everything just works so nicely together and it's all tied together super nicely. Super nicely with that hop spiciness. You definitely a hoppy beer. I wouldn't say like a IPA hoppiness, but it definitely is a hoppier beer than I anticipate. I don't, I don't know why. I just didn't think it was gonna be, you know, have that hop characteristic to it. But it's like a weird hop characteristic. It's like a spicy, maybe not like you know jalapeno hot spicy, but like this. I don't know. I, I've tried to explain this before. Like a bell pepper, not even a bell pepper. Maybe I don't know, but like a, this hop spiciness. I, don't, I think I don't know how else to explain that, man. But and that slight, slight clove banana thing going on. I'm digging this, man. It is great. But the mouthfeel, man. It's like a not quite syrup, not quite honey. I would say like watered down made not so viscous honey or syrup mixed with water just so it's not so thick and viscous and you like basically did like an 80-20 I don't know I'm just making up numbers like more water than syrup I'm, I feel like that's that's a mouthfeel on this it's just it coats the mouth and it kind of just lingers for a good amount of time man like one of the like I drink an IPAs IPAs don't do that stout some stouts do that which is nice you know it creates better texture but this is a thin beer, like, this is super thin, this is water, but it just, it's able to coat out so nicely, it just feels thicker, and just the flavor overall, I like the booziness, I like the roasted malts, I like the hoppy spiciness, I like the fruit, like the dried prunes, or dried fruits, the dried fruits, dried dark fruits, just, I like it all, man, this is, this is, this is great. Definitely a sipper, man, sipper. And that sweetness is great, man. Yeah, no, I thank you for, I forget, whoever, you know, requested me to do this beer. I, I appreciate it. I'm glad, you know, I, I think that was a little push that I needed to, you know, actually pull the trigger again. this beer. It's not like a super expensive beer or anything, and it's not super hard to find. I just don't know what kept me from it. Just be, probably because of the label. I'm usually gravitating to labels that are you know cool or whatever usually ipas being in the pacific north which just ipas i feel like they're everywhere and they have super cool k labels and this is just there's, there's just an old dude with the chalice of beer in the damn bottle man um so i mean amazing beer man amazing amazing beer highly highly recommended if you've never tried it before it's just just yeah definitely definitely go check it out man so anyways that's uh saint bernardus app 12 10% ABV quadruple. If you guys like the video, thumbs up, comment, squeeze, question, questions, leave them below. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.